Well, in other news now, India's second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2, has successfully been inserted into the moon's orbit. Now, the Indian Space Research Organization released a statement after the maneuver, revealing uh, details of the crucial moments leading up to the lunar uh, mission. The entire maneuver lasted for roughly 29 minutes and made use of the propulsion system on board Chandrayaan-2. Uh, the propulsion system was activated remotely from the command center and according to ISRO, there are a series of maneuvers left which will see the aircraft entering its final lunar orbit, passing over the lunar poles at a distance of merely 100 kilometers from the moon's surface. The space agency said that the health of the aircraft is being monitored continuously from the ISRO command center in Bengaluru, along with some help from the Indian Deep Space Network. So what's uh, the crucial next maneuver for Chandrayaan-2? Well, it's coming up tomorrow on the 21st of August. The maneuver is expected to happen somewhere in uh, one hour, in a one-hour window between 12.30 and 1.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. If successful, Chandrayaan-2 will enter the final lunar orbit and the Vikram lander will separate from the aircraft. Then the lander will descend onto the moon's surface with the soft landing scheduled for the 7th of September. And Nishita is now joining us live for the latest on this. And Nishita, well, you also spoke to the ISRO chairman K. Sivan uh, this afternoon. What is the next step in the moon mission? We know that uh, tomorrow there's going to be a window of some more uh, maneuvers for uh, Chandrayaan-2. That's right. Uh, tomorrow is the next maneuver for Chandrayaan 2, but uh, the crucial maneuvers will begin from the 1st of September. 1st of September, there is a short uh, maneuver that will last a few seconds. It is only to check the systems if they are functioning aptly because on the 2nd of September is when uh, the lander as well as the orbiter will split. Now, when they are splitting, they will be in an orbit which will be 100 kilometers by 100, uh, 30 kilometers. That is, uh, in a day's difference, uh, on the 1st of September, it will be 100 kilometers by 100 kilometers, but in just a day, it will be 100 kilometers by 30 kilometers. And after that, you have the lander that will separate from the orbiter. The lander itself will have at least uh, three other maneuvers before it will do a soft landing. It is the first soft landing that uh, the Indian Space Research Organization is attempting. It is on the dark side of the moon and if successful India will only be the fourth country to successfully land on the moon. Uh, so as uh, Mr. K. Sivan who is the chairman has rightly put it, it, it will be 15 terrifying minutes for all the scientists who have been involved uh, with Chandrayaan 2 as unlike Chandrayaan which is only orbiting the moon, Chandrayaan 2 will be attempting soft landing and after landing uh, over two hours later you will have the ramp that will come out of the lander then you will have the rover that will emerge out in about three hours ten minutes where the solar panels will uh, come out as well and three hours fifteen minutes after the landing you will have the ro uh, rover moving on the surface the rover itself has a life of about one lunar day which is fourteen earth days and uh, in that one lunar day uh, it is expected to conduct uh, detailed tests on mineralogy the mineralogy uh, composition of the rocks on the lunar surface. Meanwhile, the orbiter will also be carrying forward the experiments that were initiated by Chandrayaan. Uh, will also be finding out more about uh, water molecules that is present on the lunar surface. But yes, the next uh, two, three weeks will be extremely crucial for ISRO. Uh, minute by minute monitoring of the systems are going on and uh, all the uh, important maneuvers will begin. But what was done today was one of the top two uh, uh, important operations uh, part of Chandrayaan 2. Uh, after today, it will be the landing that will be crucial, tricky, and uh, as uh, Mr. K. Sivan said, that even a small uh, hitch, even a small miscalculation can lead to the failure of Chandrayaan 2. All right, Nishita, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the latest. We are, of course, expecting more uh, visuals and, of course, uh, another briefing possibly from ISRO as the days go forward uh, to the Chandrayaan 2 mission that has started. <laughs>